What's good YouTube, your boy Bosco back again with another video. Today we're here to talk about some upcoming sneakers that you might wanna add to your collection from Jordan Retros to SB Dunk Collabs. And then we have some information on the Mamba program, which a lot of people will be excited about, but you gotta stay tuned to get the information on that. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into these sneakers, you dig? First up, we got the Nike Sabrina One Magnetic dropping October 1st for a retail price of 130 bucks. White, black, and football gray makes up the color scheme for this shoe. This Sabrina One combines cutting edge technology featuring a top loaded Zoom Air unit in the front and a full length React cushioning for ultimate comfort and performance. To ensure stability, a shank plate integrated, maintaining a balance during the gameplay. Midfoot brand and lockdown cables offer secure foot placement. Overall, with me seeing these in person, I'm definitely impressed by the Nike Sabrina One and hopefully at some point, I'm able to grab one in my size. These are a women's shoe. I'm not sure if they come in extended sizes, but I would assume they do. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below. Next up, we got some good detail images of the Air Jordan 1 OG women's exclusive satin bread dropping October 18th for a retail price of 180 bucks. As you know, this comes with a full satin build, nodding to the Air Jordan flight suit warm up worn by Michael Jordan in 85. These are pretty much just like the original pair that came out some years ago. Let me know if you guys are excited for this and these images, are they selling it to you a little bit more? Will you be picking up a pair or is it an easy pass or grabbing them just to flip because a lot of people are excited about this shoe? Are you one of those people? Of course, give me the feedback and rate it from one to 10 in the comment section below. And if you were wondering, these do not come in extended sizes. It's a women's exclusive shoe. And if you wear over a 10 and a half, you're just out of luck. Next up, we got some images of the Hello Kitty Adidas Samba 2.0, releasing later this year for a retail price of 150 bucks. This Hello Kitty 2.0 Samba is a little different from the previous models. This one has more of a chunky, semi-translucent outsole, replacing the usual one. And it does have a white leather base, a door with the sleek black suede. Let me know if you guys are feeling this one and if you're a hello kitty fan do you see yourself adding this to your collection next up we got a jordan one low gray school exclusive that i think is pretty interesting having the whole velvet upper releasing during the holiday season for a retail price of 95 bucks if you have a smaller size or ladies if you're able to fit gray school shoes this might be something you want to pick up let me know if you guys like the color combination these jordan one lows come in a shade of teal and metallic gold featuring a whole teal upper with the leather and velvet makeup of the shoe, which I think is pretty interesting. If it came out in men's sizes, I don't know how well this shoe would do, but let me know what you guys think about this color combination and the fact that it has leather and suede. Is that a cop or a pass? Next up, we got the fucking awesome Adidas Samba collab dropping September 9th for a retail price of 120 bucks. What a wild name, fucking awesome. That's kind of crazy. These have that black leather base with the white three stripes, keeping it really simple, but at the same time elegant with having good materials used on this shoe. Of course, black lacing matching the shoe overall. Rate this Samba from a one to 10. Do you see yourself adding it to your collection? Next up, we got an Air Jordan 1 Low SE dropping later in October for a retail price of 125 bucks. This Jordan 1 Low SE comes in a unique brown kelp, Sky J Olive and Cell color scheme. This special edition Jordan 1 Low features a soft suede textile base in brown, then it's coupled with an olive green leather overlays on various parts like the mudguard, eye stays, collar, heel, and swooshes. This olive shade extends to the Jumpman tongue branding and rubber outsole. Are you guys excited for this colorway? or is it easy something to pass on? Next up, dropping September 8th for a retail price of 205 bucks, we got the off-white Nike Air Force One Mid She. As you can see, this off-white Air Force One She comes in an all-black patent leather upper. On the lateral heel, you'll find Rasheed Wallace's iconic fadeaway jumper silhouette embroidered. I think that's a really dope touch. Black and white you can match it with anything out there, retailing for 205 bucks, which is not too bad. Are you guys excited for this? or is it an easy pass? I like what Virgil did with this off-white situation. I just don't know how I feel about it. I would love to see this in person, but give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 6 Yellow Orca. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Dropping February 3rd, 2024. For These Jordan 6 have pretty much the same color blocking as the Carmines, featuring white, yellow orca, and black as the color scheme. These have the white leather overlaying the yellow orca suede on the side panels 
toe box, lace locks, and heel tabs. This colorway is very unique. I wanna see what it looks like in hand. From a one to 10, I give this a solid seven and a half. Next up, also dropping September 9th for a retail price of 100 to 110 bucks is the Dunk Low St. John's in the white and university red colorway. Of course, this shoe pays homage to the 2005 release, the original release of the St. John's Nike Dunk Low. These look pretty much just like the older pair. I just feel like they put a different finish on the paint job. From a one to 10, I would give this a solid eight. I like the St. John's color combination on this Nike Dunk Low. I don't see myself picking it up, but will you pick up a pair? Next up, we got the Air Jordan 1 Mid SE Red Starburst dropping during the holiday season for a retail price of 135 bucks. It does say holiday season, but these things could drop in stores anytime soon. So if you're interested, make your due diligence to get over to Nike and try to pick up a pair. These come in a two-tone white and red Starburst color combination. This Jordan 1 Mid SE is crafted from full grain leather with breathable mesh tongues and lining. As you can see, this Jordan 1 Mid features a white base with red stardust accents and overlays which is something that a lot of people are liking let me know what you guys think about this se i do believe it will come with a little better quality than the regular jordan one mids but let me know your feelings about this shoe in the comments below switching it up a bit we got the new balance 580 dropping september 3rd for a retail price of 130 bucks the vintage teal model incorporates essential features like roll bar for precise motion control and absorb for excellent shock absorption these feature a black nubuck upper completed with a teal mesh toe box, tongue, and collar. I like the color combination on this New Balance. Let me know if this is something that you will be adding to your collection. You really can't go wrong with New Balances. They're always pretty nice with good materials and they're comfortable. Next, I wanna talk about a classic Air Max, which is the Air Max Plus. This colorway is dropping later this year for a retail price of 175 bucks. This Air Max Plus has more of a modern look featuring the black mesh base. Then you have the Melechete green accents throughout the shoe, which I think is a dope touch. I think the placement of the Melechete green over the shoe is fire. You got a gum out sole or partial gum outsole with the white nike swoosh and white midsole if you did a little lace swapping and put white laces in it it might look even crazier 175 is the retail let me know what you guys think about this air max plus next up we got some leaked images of a new adidas slide this is the salt colorway retailing for 170 bucks but there's no official release date yet as for the yeezy slide itself there's nothing different no specs it's just a different colorway salt salt and salt not sure if you guys are liking this color combination. I have seen a lot of colorways in these slides that are impressive. And this colorway is not too bad. Not sure when it's gonna release. Once I find out, I will let you guys know, but give me your thoughts about this colorway in the comments below. Next up, dropping during the holiday season, we have three colorways of the Stussy Nike Air Flight 89, retailing for 160 bucks. All of them are looking pretty unique and I wanna know which one you guys like the most. As I stated earlier, you can look forward to about three different colorways dropping, a white and red colorway, a black and white colorway, as well as a white pecan and fossil colorway. All will retail for 160. If you're a fan of the Flight 89 or Stussy, maybe this might be the shoe for you. Give me your feedback in the comments below. Next up, we have new images of a Jordan Luca 2 in the TV Game Royal colorway dropping later in the fall for a retail price of 130 bucks. These actually might be on Nike.com right now as we speak. So if you're looking for this blue colorway, go ahead and check for yourself. I've seen this one, the red one, as well as the black and white colorway. All of them are dope and the Luca 2 is definitely a shoe to consider. It's true to size. I've definitely tried them on and I'm satisfied by the shoe and the price point's not that bad either. Give me your thoughts and opinions about the Jordan Luca 2 and do you see yourself picking up a pair before the three comes out. Next, we have some early images of the Powder Puff Girls Nike SB Dunk Low dropping December 14th for a retail price of 135 bucks. All three colorways are named after the characters Bubbles, Buttercup and Blossom, which I think is very unique. The details for these shoes and the color combination is just on point. I would love to know which one of the three do you guys like the most? They're all fire and you never go wrong with some SB Dunks. I know the craze for these things is gonna be off the scale. Resale is gonna be up for them and you're gonna have to put in the extra work to grab a pair. If you had the opportunity of these three colorways, which one would you guys pick up? Let me know that in the comment section below. But I think I like the blue one the most. But I would love to see these in person and once I do or get better images, I will bring it to you. Retailing for 135 bucks, dropping December 14th, 2023. I hope you're ready. And as I stated early in the video, we got some new information about the Mamba programs. Nike announces six Mamba program NCAA basketball teams 
which these teams will be exclusive to Kobe branding and shoes, which is something that's gonna be fire. After a three year hiatus, we weren't sure what was gonna happen next, but it's now said that the Kobe Bryant sneaker and apparel line is staging a big comeback over the next few months. Vanessa Bryant appears to be hands on in the involvement in selecting the NCAA programs to be honored by the Mamba programs, of course, during the upcoming 2023 2024 college basketball season. The teams said to be involved with the Mamba program are the Yukon Huskies, Oregon Ducks, Kentucky Wildcats, LSU Tigers, USC Trojans, and Duke Blue Devils. All of those teams seem to have good team colorways, so I'm curious to see what these Kobe's are looking like. They will be player or college exclusive, so I doubt the fans will be able to grab a pair. But let me know what you guys are thinking about this. I'm glad that they are coming back. Shout out to the Mamba program. As we have now like four or five months left in 2023, you can see that there's a good amount of things still to look forward to. And we're only tipping the iceberg of everything that you've seen in this video. Let me know what are your standouts? What are you most looking forward to? And what do you feel like is the weakest shoe in this video? Give me all that feedback, of course, in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button. It helps out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'm about to get out of here. Have a great day wherever you are in the world. Deuces.